All right, we're going to move on to continuation of degree and radian measure. So we've talked about um, measurements of radian and degrees in a previous video. Um, one rotation around the coordinate plane is 360 degrees. The length of an intercepted arc is equal to the circumference of the circle. Thus, the radian measure of a central angle is the cir circumference of a circle divided by the radius. So we've worked with this formula already, but now we're inputting 2 pi r divided by 2 pi. So one measurement around the central angle, these two are considered equivalent. 360 degrees is one revolution, or two pi radians. If we divide both by two, we get these two angles to be equivalent. The, this side is our degree measure. This side is our radian measure. So we're going to be converting between the two forms. So we're going to work with these two ratios. So here's our first example. We have 30 degrees, we want to convert it to radians. So we're going to take 30 degrees, and then we're going to choose the appropriate ratio. So we're converting to degrees to radians. So we're going to use this ratio. So we have pi radians over 180 degrees. What will happen is my degree notation will cancel. Now we multiply across. So 30 times pi, 180 in the denominator, and then radians. We do want to simplify any fractions. So there is a common factor of 30. So we're going to divide this by 30 and that by 30. So we get 1 and 6. So the equivalent angle in radian measure to 30 degrees is pi over 6 radians. Go ahead and pause and see if you can try doing this one yourself. Negative 135 degrees. Multiply it by pi radians over 180 degrees. Now we multiply across. Negative 135 pi over 180 radians. And then simplify the fraction. So both of these have a common factor of 45. So we left with 3 here and 4 there. So the equivalent angle is negative 3 pi over 4 radians. Now let's go from radians to degrees. So we're starting with pi radians. We have to choose the appropriate ratio. So we're going to be working with this one because it's saying convert radians to degrees. So notice these two just flip flop each other. We're going to cancel common factor of pi, common factor of radians. And now we multiply across. In the numerator is 180 degrees. In the denominator is 3. And then we simplify that fraction. And we get 60 degrees. So pi over 3 radians is equivalent to 60 degrees. Last one of these. 1 
gradient multiplied by the same ratio, 180 degrees, over pi radians. Cancel the radian measure notation. Multiply across. So 1 times 180 is 180 degrees over pi. And then you can enter that into your calculator. And you get approximately 57.3 degrees. So 1 radian is approximately 57.3 degrees, so pretty close to 60 degrees, one radian measure.